Georgia man testified he didn't kill a teacher, but admitted he helped hide her body, and the jury believed him, acquitting Ryan Duke today of murder and Tara Grinstadt's death, but convicting him of covering it up. The acquittal, a tough blow to Tara's family, who has been waiting nearly 17 years to see someone convicted of killing her. Brittany Klein Peter is following the case, and Brittany, we haven't heard from Tara's family since the verdict was delivered, but we are expecting to on Monday. We are. Ryan Duke is set to be sentenced on Monday for concealing Tara's death, and Tara's family is also expected to read their victim impact statements. While they sat expressionless as the verdict was read today, Ryan couldn't contain his emotions. We, the jury, find the defendant count one malice murder, not guilty. The jury also acquitted Ryan of aggravated assault and burglary, only finding him guilty of concealing a death. Tara's death has haunted Irwin County since she disappeared in 2005. In 2017, investigators finally got what appeared to be a big break in the case when Ryan told them he'd broken into Tara's home to find money for drugs and killed Tara when she startled him. But during his trial, Ryan testified he was under the influence of drugs when he made that confession and told the court it was actually his roommate, Bo Dukes, who killed Tara. Bo was never charged with murder, but like Ryan, was found guilty of concealing Tara's death. Ryan's defense team says he doesn't plan to speak during Monday's sentencing to give Tara's family their moment. 11 Alive's legal expert Paige Pate says that's probably wise. He's already told the court um, what he did and what he did not do. So I think saying anything at sentencing beyond that is not going to help him, and it could hurt him. Now, Ryan faces up to 10 years in prison for concealing Tara's death, but would get credit for the five years he's already served waiting for his trial. All right, Brittany, thank you.